Reckling shells were bunker-busting artillery shells, developed by German engineer August Konders during World War II, based on the theory of increasing the sectional density to improve penetration. The fin-stabilized shells made from chrome vanadium steel were able to penetrate much more than 4 meters, 13 feet, of reinforced concrete roof before burying the shell through the floor and into earth. However, these shells had a low muzzle velocity, and thus a high dispersion, 36 m, 118 feet, on 1000 m, 3300 feet, range. As a result, they saw very limited use during World War II, only about 200 shells were ever fired even though 6,000 such shells were made for the very large howitzers like the 21 cm mortar. Reckling shells were developed for the 21 cm Morser 18, a captured French 34 cm railway gun 674, F, and the 35.5 cm Hobbitsa M1 only. In addition, many experimental he shells were made for the 37 mm pack and 50 mm pack weapons. Reckling shells were tested in 1942 and 1943 first against the Belgian Fort de Battis then against the Belgian Fort d'Aubin Neuchâteau. Chateau. The Reckling shells were also tested against the fortresses of Herka, Hanukka and Dobruv, Czech Republic, the Gosler Wall, Toplitz Sea, Austria, and at the Hillersleben Test Facility, Germany. They were regarded as a German secret weapon and there is speculation that their use was limited in order to reduce the chance of dud shells being recovered and exploited by the Allied forces. A more likely reason, however, is their poor accuracy. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.